Right, time for another quick video. This time what I'm going to try and do is install one of these. It's a Shelly 1PM uh, light switch controller, effectively, into the light switch that's over here. So that is just this one here. So it goes behind that switch. And then what it will allow me to do is control the light in this, uh, in the ceiling fan remotely without having to uh, get up and physically turn it on and off, which will be pretty cool. But the great thing about the Shelly switches is that it also means that the switch itself on the wall still acts exactly in the way that you would expect it to. So you come in, you push the switch. If the device is off, it will turn it on. If the device is on, it will turn it off. But you can still control it remotely, which is good. Um, Slight complication though for our setup is that I have two lives behind this light switch. It's a single gang switch, as you can see, oops, single gang switch. But there are actually two power cables going up into this light. One feeds the light. Ooh, I can't, that is confusing. The one, conf one feeds the light and the other does the fan. So I'm gonna, behind the light switch, I will have a permanent live going to the fan controller, which is a Sonoff iFan 03, I think it is, that is already connected to the home kit setup. And the switched live, the one that's actually controlled from the switch, will go through the Shelly into the light power. Right, let me, I'll set up the camera, I'll take the light switch off and I'll show you what's on, what's behind there, and then we'll try and fit this. Um, I've already turned the power off, I've isolated it all, tested it, everything's good. So we're ready to start wiring this up. Right, let me set the cameras up. And hopefully you can see all of this with the lights off, uh, having to use a portable light just to, to illuminate all of this. But at the top, you can see these two browns. That's the in and the out of the, of the ring circuit, of the, of the lighting circuit. Um, and at the bottom, we've got this black switched cable. You can see the switched sheath and brown switched cable and then right at the back we've also got let's see if i can pull this out without uh yeah there we go we've also got all of the neutrals in a block you can just maybe see that there go, there's all the neutrals in a block just there so uh, the, let me get this right, the, the brown switched cable down here, that one there, that goes to the fan. The black switched cable goes to the light. So I need to make this brown permanently on, and I need to make this black go via the Shelly. So I'm going to rewire all of this, and then I'll come back and try to give you a better view exactly of exactly what I've done. Right, right, so it's wired up. It's getting pretty dark in here because this is taking me slightly longer than I had anticipated, but there you go, so you can see it's in there. Hopefully, you can see, so the O at the end on the far right-hand side, that is the, the power going off to the actual light. The S, W, and the L, loop through the switch through this and then the l1 and the neutral are the live and the neutral that power the the um the shelly 1 pm then behind which you might just be able to see i have installed two wago blocks one for neutrals and one for the uh the lives which is then powering everything else so the permanent live in and out from the circuit uh, live and neutrals, and then uh, a permanent live going off to the, a permanent live and a neutral, sorry, going off to the actual light and the fan, and then the lives and the neutrals coming into the Shelly. Hopefully that all makes sense. I will put up a, um, uh, a schematic, you know, the diagram that Shelly provides just to quickly run through it as well. But now I'm going to quickly reassemble this and test it, and fingers crossed. Okay, so it's all done. Um, I've turned on the bedside light so that when I turn off the main light, you can still see me. But yeah, now the light switch over here controls the light. 
and I can still control both the fan and the lights within HomeKit as well. So hopefully I'll put the uh, screen share of my phone over here, so hopefully you can see what I can see. But I can turn the fan on within HomeKit, but also importantly, I can leave the fan on and turn the light off, and I can turn the light back on. But what's really good is that I don't have to use Siri or HomeKit or whatever, I can also use the switch. So I can press the switch and the light goes off and it's represented in the app. I can then turn it back on from the app if I want to. So both the app and Siri and the physical switch works, which is excellent when you have people uh, visiting who are perhaps not familiar with smart homes and want to just use the switch in the way that they would expect it to work. Yeah, so it's really good. I can now turn the, light, the fan on and off from within the app and I can turn the light on and off from the app or from the light switch. Anyway, that's a quick video just showing how I installed the Shelly 1PM behind the light switch and paired it with my Hunter fan and Sonoff iFan 03 controller. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, very happy to try and answer them. Um, and I, I'm hoping to do about 20 videos during 2021. So hopefully once every two weeks. So yeah, subscribe and, and hopefully more videos coming very, very soon. Um, I've also, I've included two referral links below just in case anybody finds them useful. Uh, I'm an Octopus Energy customer. Uh, they're an energy provider here in the UK who provide uh, green electricity, 100% green electricity, and some really good tariffs for off-peak usage. So if you have an electric car or a battery storage system, you can try and take some take advantage of uh, of those off-peak uh, lower rates um, to run your house or your car. Uh, the referral link in the description below um, gives us both. If you were to join, it gives you £50 and me £50. So £50 credited to your account and £50 credited to my account, um, which just seems like a fantastic deal. So please feel free to use that referral link if you're, look if you're looking to, uh, to switch energy providers. Um, I've also included a link for the Tesla referral program. I recently bought a Tesla Model 3. Uh, I'm loving it so far. Uh, although not really getting to drive it very much during these these COVID times, but um, uh, but the little driving I am getting to do, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, if you're interested in buying a Tesla, please feel free to use my referral link that will give us both 1,000 free supercharger miles. Uh, so yeah, both those links are below. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.